Okay, then we are coming back for part two of our journal here. Uh, we are moving on to the next topic, transformation of exponents. And I say don't panic because I know this looks scary. That's a lot to go over. But remember, a lot of our transformation, transformation of functions occur the same way. So you've done them with polynomials. You've done them with rationals. You've done them with sign, trig, whatever. You've done it in so many different ways. Transformations don't truly change that much, just a little bit. So this is the definition. Here's all the formality. Um, and we'll see this a few more times, but I definitely recommend pausing, copying this down and working towards memorization because I will not provide these on the exam. So uh, shifting horizontally and vertically, uh, we can stretch and compress and we can reflect. Those are the main parts of transformation. And you can read through this on your own, but I'm going to go ahead and dive on in with a question. So if I wanted to conclude what happens to 2 to the x plus 1, where the plus 1 is attached to the variable, then what's happening? Well, if I look back, oops, if I look back on my... Um, cheat sheet that I created for myself, I can see, okay, well, it's not in front of the two, so it's not a vertical stretch. It's not in front of the X, so it's not a horizontal stretch. So I've noticed a coefficient is a stretch. Well, this isn't a coefficient, this is a constant plus one. So that means it's probably either a reflection or a horizontal. Well, if I look at reflections, I notice the only thing that helps a reflection is positive or negative. So it's not a reflection just yet. And then I can go back to my shifts. So. Is it a horizontal shift or is it a vertical shift? Well, where is that plus one? Ah, it's attached to the exponent. So if it's attached, sorry, not the exponent, the variable. If it's attached to the variable, it's horizontal. If it was outside of the variable, aka two to the x and then plus one, then it would be an up and down. And I think y'all kind of recall that yourselves. So because I'm within parameters, I'm really close to that variable, I'm going to do the opposite of what feels natural. And so I'm actually not going to plus one, I would think move to the right. Well, I'm actually moving to the left by one. But let's confirm this. Here I have it graphed in purple is the original. And here I can see I shifted to the left by one. Ta-da! Let's do another one. Okay, what about this one? Two to the negative x. Cool. Well, that's a reflection. And if I look at my cheat sheet, I notice that my reflection is over the y-axis. So, ta-da! And the black is the reflected over the y. That makes sense to me. Cool. And then finally, we have negative 3 is a coefficient to the 2x. Well, hold on. I see a negative and I see a 3. Is that two transformations? In fact, it is. So the negative is going to reflect it over the x axis because the negative is in front of or the uh, outside parameters, not inside parameters, I guess you could say. And then the three, again, is outside parameters. So it's a vertical stretch. Um, and that's going to be, is it a stretch or a compression? It says that a whole number or a number greater than one would be a stretch. So three is going to vertically stretch it. Uh, it's going to vertically stretch it, and then it's going to reflect it over the x-axis. So let's see what that looks like. Here, I vertically stretched it. That's what I did in the dot, dot, dot. And then I flipped it over the uh, x-axis. It's a little harder to see these particularly vertically stretch and compress or even horizontally stretch and compress. Um, but that it really is happening inside of that. You could you would notice it a lot quicker uh, looking at the actual table value. So you can explore that on your own using a calculator or an online calculator. You're welcome to do that exploration. But in the meantime, again, I highly recommend that you take the time to copy these down. Um, every time you're writing something, you're actually working towards memorization. So just saying, hmm, let me stare at this and memorize, not quite going to help you. But, you know, just suggestions. But here's your opportunity for success.